2016 has been a shit year for celebrity deaths, and it just got a little bit shittier because the greatest boxer, Muhammad Ali, has died. And if you're not a fan of boxing, it's understandable that you might not be personally mourning his loss. So I thought I'd make a quick video explaining why you should. Yes, he was a brilliant boxer. He was very, very good at punching people, but he was also so much more. You might expect me to not be the biggest fan of his, seeing as he was so religious that he actually changed his name, and I'm a pretty anti-religious person. And yeah, I do think that Islam is just as stupid and misogynistic as Christianity or pretty much any other religion. But many of Muhammad Ali's beliefs were downright inspirational, like the fact that he was black and proud at a time when black athletes were expected to be silent and humble at all costs or the fact that he was anti-war. He was a peace activist and uh, conscientiously objecting to Vietnam led to him spending almost all of his money, losing several titles, facing jail time and being denounced. It was an incredibly important stance for him to take at the time. And also that he had been outspoken about Muslim extremism. He denounced terrorism and encouraged other Muslims to be peaceful and focus on good works and charity. All of that, I think, is worthy of respect. But my favorite thing about Muhammad Ali was his intelligence. His fists made him a champion, but his brain made him a legend. With Muhammad Ali's passing, I've seen a lot of people sharing the most iconic photographs from his life. And the ones that I see shared more than any others are those of him training in a pool. They were published in 1961 in Life magazine. They were taken by photographer Flip Schulke, who traveled to see Muhammad Ali when he was just 19 and still known as Cassius Clay. He was supposed to take photos of Clay for Sports Illustrated as Clay was preparing for a big fight. And to impress him, uh, Schulke showed Clay photos that he had taken previously, including some photos of water skiers that he had taken from below the surface of the water. And Cassius Clay said, hey, you know, it's funny, I have been training in a pool uh, because the water adds resistance. So when I punch outside of the water, my punches are faster. Schalke thought that was fascinating and wanted to shoot him in a pool. He pitched it to Sports Illustrated, but they said that it was completely silly, but that he should try pitching it to Life magazine. Life thought it was fantastic, so he shot the photos, they printed the results, and the rest is history. I'm not telling that story to illustrate how smart Muhammad Ali was for training in the water. I'm telling that story to illustrate how smart Muhammad Ali was for making up the entire story about training in the water. In 1997, Shulky revealed that years after the photo shoot, he learned that Ali and his trainer came up with the idea in order to trick Shulky into taking these amazing photos of him and kickstarting his legendary status. Ali couldn't even swim at the time. That is, that is amazing. So here's to Muhammad Ali, who was an awesome person, an amazing boxer, and a brilliant bullshit artist.